I grew up in Kenya in the capital city of Nairobi. I've always had a passion for arithmetic and science. I'm a numbers kind of girl. I was 12 when my dad came home with his work laptop and showed me computer programming. And that was it. I was hooked for life. I was never made to feel that there's any career that I should not go after. So when I told my parents that I wanted to study computer science, they said, absolutely. I enrolled in a college in Kenya to study information technology. There were very few women in my classes. There was this perception that just because you're a woman, you're not going to write code as good as a man. But I loved my black screen as much as any other guy in the room. Whenever there was any group project, there was an assumption that the woman would be the one taking the notes. But I was like, no, I'm not taking the notes. You're going to take the notes. While I was in college, there was a very important election in Kenya. I was very excited to vote for the first time. But when the results were announced, everyone knew that the election had been rigged. This led to months of protesting, violence, and police crackdowns. It was so bad that I didn't even leave the house for weeks. The media wasn't able to cover everything that was happening, and the government didn't want people to know. So a group of technologists came together and said, listen, our country's burning and we feel helpless. What can we do? Practically overnight, they created a way for people to anonymously text or send emails or tweets telling what was happening around them. Within days, tens of thousands of people were using the platform to raise their voice. At the time, this was a unique use of technology and other groups in other countries saw what they were doing and figured other groups might be able to use this for their situation. The platform became Ushahidi. I joined the organization three years later as a junior software developer. I loved writing code and knowing the work that I was doing was making a real difference in the world. Over the years, I took role after role in the company, eventually working my way up until I took over as executive director. Now, I'm focused on expanding our work and growing our client base. It's a great mix of my skills, and I'm excited for how new organizations will use our platform to respond to disasters and fight for social justice.